Hello everybody, my name is Christophe Pichot. I'm a C++ developer in France, in Paris. Um, I belong to a SQL company, sql.com, and um, I'm, uh, I'm an old Microsoft most valued professional. I'm an MVP uh, from uh, 2017 uh, to November 2020. 2020. Um, this video is dedicated to performance. Um, I've just made a one slide to present me. Um, I'm I'm just um, I'm just a guy who is fascinated by Microsoft technology and now uh, more than doing consulting services or making blog or making uh, uh, stuff. I used to work a lot with Microsoft in France with uh, Microsoft Consulting Services. I'm doing a lot of uh, contribution in open source with or without Microsoft. And um, now my, my favorite stuff is to do technical article for programming magazine, for example, in France, and for doing books. Recently, I've published Ed Memoir C++, which means Cookbook C++ in French for, you know, uh, Cookbook C Sharp for the launch of .NET 5 in November um, 2020. So the book was shipped on January, January, January on the 6th. And uh, I've co-produced myself uh, a book about learning uh, modern C++ on Windows, Linux in Asia with STL. It's all based, based on C++20. And um, I've made a tradition which is called Learn Modern C++. Uh, recently, with my new company, I have proposed my boss to, to make uh, an opportunity to write about Windows and .NET Windows technology. Because uh, in my consulting services hours, which is a full-time employment. Um, I'm doing PowerPoint, a lot of PowerPoint consulting, Cloud Native, Akia, SS, C Sharp, a lot of modern, modernizing application for our customers, a lot of stuff from legacy.net to, to advanced Kubernetes services, you win the, all the world stuff, a lot of job. But on my leisure time, my hobby is all about C++. I dedicated uh, half of my time during the week to do C++. And so this video is um, is dedicated to Matthew, Steve, and Mark from Apres, uh, because uh, we are shipping something in, in June. With Apres, I have the chance uh, to be the author of uh, a book which is called Pro C++ Performance Optimization Technic Technicals to, buy, to build high-performance application. And this is um, the most ambitious project I've ever done. I'm doing uh, uh, a lot of Microsoft big, big project, uh, migrating uh, uh, 700,000 mailbox to exchange. It was supposed I supervised by Balmer. I've made a lot of uh, confidential stuff for for my country and the government. I've, I've made a lot of a lot of things. Uh, Acker things through uh, dedicated uh, CIA tools to C++ zero day windows. It's fab I, I love Windows. I love the C++. I love hacking tools and stuff. But this book, Pro C++ Performance Optimization, it was it, it's one of my favorite stuff. So, if you want to, if you want to know more about Pro C++, Pro C++. Uh, Pro C++, not Proc C++, Pro C++. Um, there is no problem. We will ship. We will ship in October, because we have a, we have a little problem. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes in writing this book, uh, and so there is a lot about C++, and uh, there are a lot about performance. But we need to 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 do more about performance, and uh, I've made so many general chapter, but. There are a lot of interesting stuff, but for if you are interested in pro C++ performance, uh, be aware. Be be, be uh, I I adv I'm giving you the advice that this book is for you. If if you are a, a young C++ programmer or an experienced programmer, I give you my 20, 25 years um, about C++ middleware, 
middleware experience from low level Windows Survive to TCP IP to um, to NetBay to Nemet Pipe to EPC IPC um, to data exchange between process to to DLL multi threaded stuff uh, to multi platform C server side to concurrency multi threading uh, native thread on Windows native thread on uh, on Linux. Uh, boost as your portable s STL across all version of C++ compiler, uh, different compiler, various stuff, uh, Clang, GCC, Visual C++. I'm a Visual C++ guy. Uh, I love the Visual C++ team. I love Herba, I love Marianne, I love STL, I love uh, Bogdan, and all those guys are my favorite friends. Because um, I belong to the C++ world because I had the opportunity to begin my career when Windows was shipped into corporation as a file server and next as, as a lightweight uh, uh, mail, uh, uh, mail um, server with Exchange and then with uh, back office 2.0 with a uh, secure server with EES, with a SNR server. And I've made a lot of work in banks. Um, uh, providing stuff that a lot of retail office use Windows Server to making communication with the mainframe, with the old IBM mainframe. We have a lot in France. We have a lot, lot, lot with SNA protocol, and you have to use LU0 SDK, LU6.2 uh, SDK protocol. We have to use LU3 for printers. It's a it's a nightmare. Uh, TCP easy, TCP IP is so easy uh, compared about SNA protocol. But it's IBM, it's serious, it's uh, it's IT, it's computer, it's software development, and I love that. So if you're interested in my Pro C++ performance, um, there are a lot of things about C++ 20, and there are a lot of stuff about algorithm, about CPU, and I would like to dedicate this video to Dennis. Uh, Dennis has made... Um, a, a wonderful box, which is performance analysis. This guy is a hero. Uh, he works for Intel and he's doing a, this is the most incredible, um, uh, most incredible books I ever read. Um, in fact, in, in more, this book is free. This book is free. You listen to me. Take your favorite, take your favorite uh, search engine. I'm, I'm a Microsoft guy, so I do not use uh, Google. Google is uh, selling your metadata. I don't. I don't want that. Uh, I'm. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I use Bing. I'm not using Google services. I don't like that. So if you need to 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 read this book, you go on his blog. Uh, Dennis has a blog which is um, um, and you can find his book. Where did I find his book? Okay, his blog is a lot about, in fact, he talk about performance. It's, it's the stuff of his life. Uh, this guy is wonderful. So I make another church. I make a book. Dennis. Performance. 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 And Dennis has given his book. Okay, that's here. Easyperf.net. So on easyperf.net, you've got the book of this guy. This book, okay, here we are. What's inside? It's a dream. It's the dream of the C++ and C uh, software developer. Um, everything in his, uh, his book uh, is about... Uh, is about routine C++ advanced performance milliseconds gain enhancement and I I love this book. So okay, let's talk about let's talk about C++. Let's all talk about performance. What we need to do real performance in C++ in an is an ID is a compiler. Um, mm, on my computer, um, it's a Windows 10 uh, corporate uh, notebook. Um, I'm using Visual Studio 2019. I have a lot of difficulties with uh, 20 less numbers. So I've installed everything. So it's uh, it's uh, eight um, 
It's a 79 uh, gigabyte stuff from Visual Studio. I appreciate it. 20 years later, it was 25 megabyte. Now it's 80 gigabyte for a compiler, an ID, and a lot of wizard stuff for our C Sharp guys. Thank you guys. Welcome. You are the new VB6 wizard guide. I love you all. Okay, it's a private joke. Don't throw me tomatoes. I've made an ad memoir C Sharp. I love C Sharp. I love .NET. .NET is my day-to-day -day work. .NET Framework, .NET Core, .NET 5, everything, BCL, CLL, LinkedIn. Okay, it was just a private joke. Uh, f when we talk about performance, there are a lot of uh, uh, there are a lot of things to take in account, and if I if I give you a, a just an overview about the the C plus plus world and performance, here is what I can talk you about. In my future book with the Apress team, we'll talk about what what is in this table of contents. Um, the, the book is is written uh, eighty percent is done. We'll have to do some things, but we'll talk about why C++. Uh, back to the roots, modern C++ and the renaissance of C++11. C++ renaissance, uh, if you don't know what it is, you take your favorite Bing engine or favorite search engine. If you're in California, you love Google. Okay, let's go Google now, your Texan company. Here is Viv the Texas. So you, you type, you type, what, what is the question? What is the question? Uh, the question, yes, okay. The question is uh, C++ Renaissance. Renaissance from McDonaldson and Craig Simons. If you are new to C++ and you don't, you want to know what is the Renaissance of C++, what is, um, what is uh, the way where Microsoft realize that C++ was getting back in the game, getting back in the game, um, and that Visual C++, it was called VNX at this time. We are in February 2011. Uh, it was a time where I met my... Um, uh, it was... Uh, how was this guy? Is this guy is wonderful? It's Tarek Magdor. Direct Magno for you, he pass. And uh, we talk a lot about uh, these tech days from Microsoft in, two, in, in two, 2000 and, and, uh, and 11. And so we talk about the C Renaissance. It was the launch of Windows 8. And it was, um, there was a lot of stuff from the, the new version of Visual. Studio and not Visual Studio about Visual C++, but what because it was about uh, C++ in Windows 8, there was Windows RT, the Newcom API, and a lot of stuff. But watch this video because it talks about C++ Renaissance and the way that Microsoft is also committed to C++, always committed to C++, and uh, it's is a talk about is this veteran guide. Uh, uh, this veteran guy, uh, Mosson is in Facebook, I think, uh, and Craig maybe maybe is retired also at Microsoft. I don't I don't remember, but uh, they are explaining a lot of things. They talk about the C++ as a low level and an high level programming language, because when you think is in both template meta programming in C++, and when you make your inline functions in your template, the compiler direct uh, emit code that is optimized assembly. So you make a high level template and it's direct assembly optimized code. So this is all what the C Sharp, Java and all uh, kids language won't ever uh, be able to produce even in the, in the future decade because they all arrive automatic memory garbage collection stuff they rely on a lot of things in the background we don't have that in c++ and we are happy like that so when we talk about renaissance about c++ 
we talk also about our hero, which is Herb Sutter. And Herb Sutter is talking about a lot of things and C++ owns C++, more than C++. More than C++, um, more than C++ was introduced by the ISO committee uh, 10 years ago. And excellent, I, I have a lot of chance. Element of modern C++ style. C++ it even feels like a new language. Björn Sustrup, the inventor of C++, and, and Herb Sutter are making a lot of stuff for new new developers to, to understand what is modern C++, how it's easy to write code, how it's powerful. We have smart pointers, there are no deleters, there are a lot of stuff. So put it in your in your favorite um, it's called it's called bookmark favorite absutter.com element of modern C++ um, Sutter Mill. The Sutter Mill is a blog of Herb Sutter and there are a lot of stuff. Um, so what I have in mind in this video is I want you to talk about performance. Okay, we are not still in the Visual Studio, but I, I always like to introduce my video. I don't want you to dive in, to dive in a internal of uh, STL uh, vector dot uh, CXX and uh, Okay, we, we just talk about a lot of stuff and then we go in Visual Studio. So there is certain meal. Uh, for new developer, for new developer coming to this video, the first requirement stuff to understand what all I talk about is a tool of C++ written by God. God has written, has written the second edition of its favorite book, a tour of C++. Who is God? God is inventor of C++. It's Brian Strustrup. So this guy have produced C++ language design and implementation with Stanley Lipman. It was in 1979. And um, all the st software we have on our laptop as a Linux Mac or Windows are made with C++. Windows, Linux, okay, the C, the kernel, it's all about C. Okay, okay, we, we agree. C, C++, same family. C, C++, Windows, Office, the Office, uh, Word, Excel, and everything, LibreOffice, um, the, the Chrome browser, VLC, the game industry, everything is made in C++. But for new people who want to learn about what C++ is the best software programming language uh, God has produced on Earth, just read the A Tour of C++ Second Edition. This book is very, it's, um, uh, in, fr in French it's called La Synthèse, the synthesis, I think this word exists. The synthesis of um, of C++ in a 200, where is it, in my, in my um, oh, it's in my car for my previous customer, okay. So let's take a look about uh, a tour of C++. It's uh, learn everything about modern C++, uh, but it's easy to read. Easy to read, it's not a 1,000 book page, sorry. Sorry, it fi it's 5.23 uh, in the morning, uh, and we are on uh, on Friday, um, and, um, and I slept not very well this night. Um, so the tour of C++ is, um, let's, let's see the, um, the table of contents. The table of contents is what you need to, before doing C++ performance, you have to learn C++. You have to learn the essence of C++, the magic stuff, the classes, the modularity, the type, and the fact that uh, we are not a coffee language. We are the mother 
the father of the, the, the productive language. So we have class, we can inherit from multiple class. There are private, public, protected inheritance. We have template. We have a lot of smart monitors, evolution. We have a standard template library, which is a lot of what you call now your framework. But it's not your favorite that framework, which ends like in JavaScript every month. And the owner of the framework uh, is a young guy, which is switching company every month and which is telling his life and what he earth in uh, what he what he eat in McDonald's on Twitter every week. In C++, we are not like that. We are far away from that kind of behaviors. With C++, with with STL, the STL is something which is very serious and. What the ACL is called the library, and in the library, uh, if you want to know what's in the library, okay, where is it? Module G, okay, how there was we can we can't browse everything, okay. Let let me let me. Sh oh no, I don't have the book on this computer. Okay, it's not a problem. The library. If we look on the library, CPP reference, uh, library STL components. Let me give you, let me give you the errors, the errors of the standard template library, STL component. Okay, I, I take a, a random, a random link. Maybe it don't work. Okay, it's okay for me. That, that's that's easy. Um, so the the favorite uh, items in a software template library is the containers, the iterators, and the algorithm. Containers. It's all about. It's all about uh, what, for example, there is in .NET. There is a list, a collection, a stack, a queue, a map. Uh, it's uh, you want to store data. You have a container. Iterators. It's the way you move inside a container. If you're a Visual Basic uh, programmer, you make a move next. You make a move next, move prev, or you you just go back. You just go right, left. An algorithm. It's uh, find me that, uh, sort me this, it's sort, it's, uh, it's all the algorithm. So, okay, let's, let's close this parenthesis and let's go back. So, what we'll talk about in this video, uh, prepare yourself, I'm very motivated this morning. It, it will be uh, une boucherie, a killing machine, a three-hour C++ video. So it's Craig Simons and Mossenson C++ Renaissance. It's all my favorite stuff from Marianne Luparu. It's a VC blog. VC blog, C++ team blog. In this C++ team blog, what you've got? You've got Robert, you've got a lot of guy, you've got, you've got Augustine, okay, Julia, okay, Julia, but in the past, there was there were more people. Okay, there is Sai Simon. Hello, Sai. Sai, my favorite uh, Great Britain. Uh, no, should I say Great Britain? It's not a Great Britain. He's in Edinburgh. It's a C plus plus advocate. I love this guy. Follow him on Twitter. This guy is uh, Tara Lama uh, in in Twitter. It's a C plus plus evangelist working for Visual C plus plus. It's a great great guy. There is Nick, okay, Sai. Um, where is Stefan T. Lavayev, STL? Where is STL? STL is not doing blog anymore. Daniel, Will, we, Anjou. Okay, let's go to, let's go to five. Okay, let, let me find you a lot of more. Okay, we'll go on my, my site, which is Windows CPP. Okay, let's talk about uh, my favorite contribution, my article, where I write software. Okay, let's go to the essential presentation. I uh, I put them on my website. No shame, no offense. Give me your PowerPoint. I put it on my website. There is five people for per year which is working in reviewing my website, so there is no problem. Let's let's look about uh, the essence of C++ Strustrup. C++ 11 library design essence of C++ and 
Yes, just just let's click on that. Uh, you are telling me you, you talk about C++ performance and you open a PowerPoint dating from 10 years ago. Oui, Marguerite. Yes, Marguerite. It's written. It's, it's what I want you to show, to learn. In C++, we don't rely on the last version of your favorite DAU or your last version of your iPhone smartphone. We don't rely on the last version of your favorite Java or cafe programming language. C++ is serious. We are not, uh, we are not deprecated things. What which which is working in 1979 is still working in 2002 and one. Okay, uh, I'm proud of this. The essence of C++. Bjorn Strustrup, God of the God. C++ 11, C++ 11. C++ in an object-oriented programming language with with templates, high-level stuff, and low-level stuff. We are proud to handle the management of the resource. We allocated resource. We clear resource. We use resource. We take care about resource. And most of our software are going into the space. Do Java application go in space? I'm not sure. So, to learn C++, there is a popular book, which is a lot of edition, programming the C++ language. What is C++? What are C++ goals? Type safety, resource safety, performance, predictability, teachability, readability. Okay, type safety. When you declare an int or a non side int, an int uh, 1.6 or an int 3.2, a 16 or a 32, whether you target an IMD, an IRM, an RM64, an X86, an IMD64, an int says an int 16 is an int 16. When you make a strict alignment, wait, well, yes. Uh, when you make a struct alignment of uh, of four or of eight, uh, it's it's always the same struct alignment. When you call when you call a DLL, which is written in other in other language, for example, you build a DLL which is built with Clang uh, uh, um, LLVM on Windows. And you build another DLL with Visual C++ with a STL of Visual Studio 2019. Does it work? You have two hours and you have to tell me 25 papers and write it. Let me understand. We have various compiler. We target different architecture, different operating system. We have the API layer. We have the ABI layer. We we are making uh, components and wrappers and wrappers. And for example, us on a single Windows machine, um, a C sharp developer can go into a projection to do a WinRT cross layer to System32 DLL and XAML stuff and go directly to the operating system. We cross a lot of layer. And even in this case, the C sharp guy are doing XAML application on the new Windows 10 uh, using uh, a coffee based language, using a, a core CLR uh, a virtual machine execution engine. This stuff is doing the JIT compilation provided with the backend of the C compiler. Thanks again to the C team. And that is producing. What's a standard user look like? It's a Windows application. And it's not a .NET framework regular application, which is costing uh, uh, two, 250, 58 megabytes. No, it's just a 10 megabytes memory consumption. And it's both written in C-sharp and both written with native XAML stuff. So 
you are you 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 will tell me I have to not understood a word of what you are fucking telling me. Okay, so let's go back to our favorite engine. So you have to you have to search about you have to search about GitHub, Microsoft, Xamel UI, and then if you are here. We just go to the to the GitHub Microsoft UL XAML UI, and in this Microsoft repository, there is something which is called WinUI, blah 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 from Microsoft. But what is WinUI? I just want to you to know that WinUI is the next JDE stuff uh, from Microsoft. To provide, which is called uh, the universal UI layer for for all language. So, in fact, this is that. This is what we will call uh, a new modern uh, C++, a new modern Windows application. It's powered by C++. Uh, it's powered by C++ because it's all about XAML provided in standard Windows shipment DLL system 32 stuff folder. So there are a lot of XAML stuff, it's inside Windows, and there are the XAML technology, which is XML based verb, a lot of stuff, very complicated in my own, but it's, it's okay. So it's XAML, and it's powered by modern UI, which is called Fluent, it was called in the past. It was um, it was um, the the Metro, the Metro interface, but there was a lawyer stuff problem. So it's called Fluent and modern UX design. So you've got your burger menu, you've got all the new controls, and in fact, that's that's what we've got in the settings. That's all the the controls we've got in the settings. So look at some. This Windows old control padding stuff. There are you, you've got your burger menu, like you've got something here. It's like that. You've got your uh, your uh, radio button, new style. You've got your uh, new combo. It's it, maybe it's you think it's modern. You has, it's just like GD control dated from 1982. It's the same. It's not JD stuff, it's a direct 3D, direct 2D stuff. It's GDI control like, it's Windows control. Let's talk about Windows controls so that everybody can understand what I mean, what I want you to, to know. So, Microsoft is doing his own version of XAML since 10 years. And now, because Microsoft loves open source, uh, okay, we can do uh, hours and hours about Microsoft Love, Microsoft Windows, Office is not, and Azure is not open source. So let's be careful about Microsoft Love open source. Everything you know, what Microsoft is pushing on GitHub is only... Okay, I, I shut my mouth. Um, um, so let's talk about WinOE reunion. <clears throat> It's a lot of stuff in C++ and everything. So I get back and retrace my step. I retrace my step and just go on bounce or so. So type safety, retrace safety, performance, predictability. The most important is performance. Performance, if I go shortly, if I go shortly, uh, performance is that you enable uh, AV stuff like uh, C-sharp.net application to run natively on Windows, powered by C++ uh, DLL, and your C# -sharp stuff is making code to native DLL, and this native DLL spend 80% of the time running into the native DLL, and so the C# -sharp stuff doing uh, uh, core CLL virtual machine execution engine is only doing 10% of the of the um, the, the utilization time of the application. So performance. Uh, think about your laptop, your hardware, where your your or even your customer. If you're making an application that spends two 
five seconds to launch, it's boring. On your smartphone, it's more than two seconds. You swap the application, you install it. So performance, performance is the root of everything. So we won't we won't go for every slide, but what is C++ is covered in my book, programming language, assembler, C, similar, Fortran, Cobol, this go, everything goes to God, thanks God, Java-like, C-sharp-like, all the son of the mother, mother is C++, sons are Java and C-sharp, and we see modern C++. Modern C++, it's C++11. And C++11, it's something where there are a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff because, so Bjorn is talking about, yes, map to hardware. This is what I've talked about. When we make an int, when we declare a, a, a float, it's directly um, an instruction, uh, a type for the processor. It's not an intermediate stuff, no. It's not an intermediate stuff. So we, with this PowerPoint, you will learn abstraction, a lot of things, and resource management. Resource management, it's, it's, it's cool to see that, uh, that Bjarne is, uh, it's written in French. It's it's a uh, it's a market in French. We have popular street market, and uh, in France this is called saucisson. A, a saucisson is um is pork uh, is uh, is is pork uh, like a, a sausage, but it's uh, it's very hard to to cut, and uh, and resource management is like you have a box of lot of stuff. And each stuff belongs to one case, and you know what, who under what, and what costs what. And when you 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 sell one thing, you earn money, and you and everything comes, everything comes. And in some parts, uh, there is a vector and an implementation of vector, which is a vector, a vector for for uh, an, uh, any type in the constructor, uh, if, if it's hard-coded as a double, it's an array, a vector is just an array of double. So in this sample, we'll cover the, um, the initial list, uh, the, um, the destructor, because when the, the instance, when every instance of a class is called, as called, as is destructor called, uh, we release uh, so we release the memory for in this example, a vector store all its element using dynamic memory allocation in the double element. So the destructor is just calling the delete, the delete. And if we see uh, the task manager, for example, in Windows, if we allocate 162937760 bytes of memory, when we free the memory, we free exactly this number of bytes. It's it's terrible because in Windows there is a Windows Memory Manager, uh, it's VRM Virtual Memory uh, Manager. There is um, the notion of uh, virtual address space. Uh, there is a notion of um, of memory allocation page. You there is a virtual commit in okay. Let's let's go five minutes. We are motivated. It's five. It's five four three in the morning. Virtual alloc API. Let's go into the Win32 API. Virtual alloc reserve commit change the states of a region page in a virtual space of a calling process. What is it? What is it? It's a malloc function in Windows, but it's more than malloc. Malloc is a I. I um, is high level memory allocation stuff. Don't use malloc. You will say, okay, you will see you use malloc, but in Windows, just use other thing. The type of memory allocation is memcomic, mem reserve, memory set, and there is a combination of all of this stuff. So 
uh, you can you can allocate uh, things that directly talk to the virtual memory manager, which is a kernel module uh, of the operating system. And when you, res you make a reservation on memory, um, Windows makes you the guarantee that it's okay. So there is a return code in the in the, in the in the EPI. Let's talk about the sample. Okay, the sample. Here is it. And and now you say, okay, I'm waiting uh, 40 minutes before you 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 show me a C++ code source code guy. Yes. So a patch for filter was man. Okay, man. Thanks, Microsoft. You are not ISO C++, ISO C, once again. T-Man, just define T-Man, virtual alloc. Okay, so there is a virtual alloc with the size of allocation. You, you tell the operating system, I want that. It's just a memory reserve. There is no protection. And there is a return. So if it's new, there is a problem. Okay, it's a sample. Don't throw me tomatoes about handling error. So there is, we assume it's cool, it, it works. So we have a pointer, the pointer, uh, and the next page pointer are pointing on LPV base, which is, okay, okay, I remember. It's, um, the return code is the, the pointer, a return, where is return? Return, return, return. return. The return value is the base address of the allocated region of page. Okay, that's why that's why the pointer is directly uh, is directly affected to the return. It's LVP base. Okay, we are doing a cast using a string, an old fucking macro string. LPTR. It's LPTR. Okay. Yes, this is real all Windows sample. They should clear that and, and replace that by real modern C. Okay, so now there is an iteration through the page limit and they write something in memory. You can look about, once again, uh, and special, not C++ regular standard stuff. It's Windows, uh, SEA, structural exception handling or structural uh, handling exception. I, I don't remember which is the site. It's SEH. Let me check. SEH, Microsoft exception. SEH, structured exception only. Okay, sometimes I'm wrong, sometimes I'm right. Okay, and so there is a try accept, and if a try accept is like try catch, and on the point page fault exception angler, uh, okay, there is a problem. And page page exception filter, I saw it, it's, it's a callback in the, in the first. Okay, see, here is, we are. Sorry. So in this page fold exception handler, you have the code. Oh, okay, it's, I, I remember now. It's not a direct return code and an out parameter with a pointer, stuff, blah, blah. It's a, a callback with a, a first parameter, which is the exception code about the virtual alloc stuff. So if the page is super on page limit, okay, problem. Otherwise, commit another page. Okay, as you can see, um, memory manager in Windows is not so easy. So this is why we use a standard template library, and this is why we use cross-platform way to allocate memory, and we are using standard template library container with string, vector, and map. Okay, uh, I, I've I spent I spent 15 years of my life uh, doing Win32 code. I love that. I love that. It's it's the Mark Rusinovich uh, favorite way of doing job also. Uh, it's, it, I love that. I, I love those windows, those ugly macro. It's all my, uh, it was, I was young when I was developing like that. I love that. I love that. And 
This is because I'm reading the Windows source code since, since 20 years because uh, it's everything I love. Look at that. This is a bool. The bool is, is, is a different true. Uh, there is a return file. It's all the macro. It's all my friend uh, uh, hate Microsoft because they are doing a regular standard C++. And, and when they look at the Microsoft way of doing software, they said, oh, fuck, it's ugly. Fucking Microsoft. I said, no, I love Microsoft. We spread the word. We, we, we sell Windows to billions of devices. We earn money from 25 years with the same base card from Dev Cutler and all the digital boys. It's wonderful. We rule the world with the, 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 the worst compiler and but the most fascinating operating system. Okay, I shut my mouth. Okay, so where we are? Where we are? We are in Bianco Soup, String, Vector, and Map, and Lock Guard. Have you ever tried to make a multi threaded application with multiple DLL, uh, middleware things like Tuxedo, and sharing um, uh, data with IPC, memory, and network stuff like ASIO, TCP socket, and everything? And you put this in production on Friday and you have 1,000 users and in the first hour of Saturday or Sunday, everything blow up. It's a massive explosion. And you take a flight to Hawaii to hide yourself with a beer and a McDonald's sunglass caramel because you it won't be impossible to find the bug. Okay, no more jokes. You want to write a multi-threaded application. In the, pre, in, in, the, in the two past decade, it was very easy. It's a create thread. Create thread. It's a big in thread X. It's Microsoft. It's Win32. Okay, create thread. Create thread is not, it's once again your daddy create thread function with a handle, which is a kernel object. Hello, Jeffrey Richter. We've got a thread attribute, a stack side, a start address, LP parameter, creation flag, and a thread ID. And you've got to read all your favorite Windows API. And so you've got to make a close on all on your kernel object. You have to make a lot of stuff. And you go to the sample, and you go to the sample. And what you know is that it's the pain to create a thread because you store your under in an array, you make a create thread, there is no security, there is a thread function, thread function is a callback, where is the callback? The thread function is here, it's not C++, it's C, yes, I know, so there is something which will use your thread ID array, there is your under array, so it's a nightmare for all the young generation, even if you live in San Francisco. And so next you have API about waiting for under. There is a wait for multiple objects, where for single object, uh, you have to close your under because kernel objects are a limited resource on Windows. And so if you go on the operating system, and you, you check about the CPU, uh, there is a process, a thread, and the handles. The handles are the handles of here. It's kernel operating system object. The handle count is limited. So when you reach the, the upper limit, your operating system is, um, how is it called? Undefinited behavior. It means certainly a blue screen, a BSOD, a blue screen of the dev. So, okay, let's go back to our mouton. So um, we've got uh, a MyTread function, and MyTread function is going to retrieve the output. And also, there is a trail working with the console stuff, and there is a sprint dev using the Windows dedicated Okay, oh, this, is, this is a good example. This is a very good example. Windows API job. 
you know printf microsoft has done his own printf because they don't want to rely on operating system build on easy on a on one compiler version and not also about a vc reduced or cpp or C, C API. So they have their own traditional Kernam and Ritchie functions. So you used to do Sprintf, Sprintf, W Sprintf. No. If you are a Redmond programmer, you will use that because if you are doing kernel 32, user 32, or JDE 32 stuff, you do not rely on the MSVCRT stuff. You rely on nothing. So you make your string manager using that. Okay. And that you tell me, hey, guy, you show me everything else, which is more fun. Else, I'll close your video. Okay, guy, I respect. We will do stun a string. As to the string, it's better. Uh, I can talk hours and hours about the others. Vector, map, uniclock. If you do modern C++, you've got the tools, you've got the multi-platform, you've got the power, you've got every implementation of the STL have the tip and tricks I have shown you uh, under the cover, uh, under the hood. Study. It means that if you make an allocation, uh, yes, the, the, the inner STL will certainly do a virtual alloc, virtual alloc x, and it's, I can, uh, I can bet on that because virtual alloc x is the best way uh, to have all the operating system option, and if you want to allocate a large part of memory, you've got uh, multiple flags, and it's not so easy to handle. And if you look at the, at this, this on on the on the left of the screen, look at all those memory those memory API. Uh, the memory API are, are very are very huge. Uh, it's why because uh, Windows is so fantastic. It's because they are under every aspect of the memory. You can do this, you can do that, you can do this, you can do that. It's always, it's always, it's beautiful. You are in the context of a desktop, you are in the context of a server, you are in the context of a virtual machine, you are in the context on an hyper v on an Azure, in a, in, a, in a big, big machine for running a big, big Chrome with two tabs. You have 100 terabytes of memory for loading a JavaScript TypeScript application and the virtual memory is making the things cool. Zero person CPU usage, zero person memory usage more, um, except the TypeScript, uh, blah, blah, stuff. And n no no swapping stuff on the disk because they are loading thousands of fucking software. No memory management is perfect. Uh, I bet uh, for the memory management PM to be the next CEO of Windows. Um, okay. Uh, so we go back, we go back. Resource acquisition is initialization. In C++, we are proud to allocate memory. We are proud to deallocate memory. More than that, we are proud to allocate memory and we are proud not to deallocate memory. And so you tell me, uh, you're drunk? No. More than C++ means you don't need to deallocate memory. Because, because, Resource handles and pointers means that if the block is ending, the internal count reference will, will, will make the automatic call to the, um, the destructor. So, for example, oh, Bjorn is doing a Java joke. I'm a Java programmer. I take a new gadget. New runtime error, leak, if return, leak, and I want my garbage collector delete. Uh, in fact, with C, we have what's called unique pointer and shared pointer. Shared pointer is a concept of 
grouping on a ship of resource. Multiple pointers are pointing on the same stuff. Everybody use everybody. And now once once there are one deleter, so all the others should be uh, not dangling pointer or making a memory first fault application stuff. Uh, a shared pointer means when all the users of a resource are coming home, so they are destroyed. Finally, the, the, the pointer resource should be destroyed on the last allocation of the guide who use it. So, with modern C++, there is no more use of delete. delete. We do not rely on garbage collector. There is not delete. And so, beyond in going native in, in, uh, in 2013, uh, 13, 14, or no, uh, 12, 13, well, okay, I, I don't know how to get. So what do we use pointer? You are C programmer, your pointers, your favorite tools you dream every day. A pointer, a pointer is a high level concept and also a low level day to day stuff. Bjorn loves to talk about the pointers as a non chip and not a memory address. So we've got reference, we've got position, we've got data, Sorry. and so pointers is meaning we have done one hour and because it's six in the morning, in six in the morning, it's time to make a little pause. It's time to make a little pause. Okay, so uh, I just click on stop and it just go live for you now. 